And welcome once again to another fantastic episode of Atomic Tutorials. My name is Dr. Wasabi and in today's episode we are making the giant hermit crab from the Fallout series. Welcome back folks, so as the intro would suggest we are making the giant hermit crab from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. So the backstory behind this creature is that over time it is mutated into this huge monstrosity and it's actually using a cleared out van as its shell. It is a crazy concept and I love how Bethesda made this thing. So that is what we're going to be making for today's video. Now in terms of the block palette it's quite a long list of blocks but the actual amount of which you'll need to get them is quite low so of course we will get back into that after we show off the blocks in hand so without further ado what you'll need for the giant hermit crab is deep slate polished blackstone buttons where skeleton skulls levers gray stained glass panes gray stained glass diorite oak trap doors exposed cut copper slabs granite slabs terracotta granite walls, jungle fences, coarse dirt, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, mud brick stairs, mud brick slabs, brown wool, brown concrete, waxed weathered cut copper, waxed weathered cut copper stairs, acacia fence gates, tripwire hooks, item frames and cooked salmon. So there is the block list for today's video. Now a couple of points. One, all of the copper must be waxed. Uh, of course, you can have it optional if you don't want it waxed. If you want it all um, that kind of cyan rusted effect, then you can do that. Um, however, the most texturally appeasing uh, design for me includes the waxed versions of those co copper blocks. Um, so point two is that in terms of collection, the most you'll need from any block in particular is the granite blocks and the terracotta. The rest shouldn't be uh, too hard to get because you only need maybe two or three, maybe four blocks for each um, type which you'll need to collect. So there we go. So I think without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse. <laughs>
are back, folks, from our time lapse. Now, I just want to say, if you do like what I do, if you do like my content, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Doing so helps spread my channel throughout the blessed YouTube algorithm. And of course, it helps spread my content to you amazing, just fantastic folks. So let's see what we've done here. Overall, I'd say this build, not bad, not bad at all. I have been experimenting more on the organic side of building. I really like how this came out, um, especially because I kind of um, co-opted a design I've used previously for the Voltaic van, which is essentially the van model that this uses. Um, so I've been able to texture it up. I mean, it's just fantastic the way the metal is mixed with the, the dirt and the grime that's collected over two centuries. And I really like how the texturing came out because if the texturing wasn't there, it wouldn't look that good. It would just look like a very simple build. Uh, but with the different blocks added together, it adds this awesome palette, um, which really complements the overall body of the hammock crab itself, which is uh, what we'll go on to next. Overall, this took a lot of tweaking to get the body proportions just right. Um, the most difficult thing, surprisingly, was these little antennas at the front here, because I had to make sure there was two branching off um, from one. So I managed to make this awesome design using acacia fence gates, which in the end looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with this, uh, how this came out. And of course we have the little uh, fish sign because for those who actually play Fallout, this is a lobster restaurant van. Um, you'll see it on the side, like family restaurant uh, is kind of plastered on the rusted metal. Uh, you can just about make it out. So there we go. So I have a few other models for you folks um, just to kind of uh, show the kind of viability of the build itself. Uh, we have a albino hermit crab using a white terracotta and diorite slab pairing. This one works pretty well. Um, now, of course, it does kind of clash with the diorite on here. So, of course, we are just branching out ideas and how you could change this to your own kind of uh, personal tastes and such. Over here, we have the glowing version of the giant hermit crab using a pairing of black terracotta, black stone, and of course, verdant frog lights, which I thought was such an ingenious idea, kind of mixing those two colors of green and black as you do see in the game um, into this wonderful uh, little build here and of course we have the empty van model so this is what the build actually looks like if we, we remove the hermitcraft over here and i've taken the liberty to uh, clearing out all the dirt in here because you can actually turn this into a neat little starter base um if you're in like a full art world or something like that so there we go. So that has been our video for today. The giant hermit crab from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Of course, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I wish you a most pleasant good evening. And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it is time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your viewing and hope we've succeeded in providing you with an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Stay happy and come back again soon. Good night.